Here. I don't know. I mean, he's looking at a legend. I don't know if he's ever been in the ring with a guy of this, of this caliber, but he was ready for it. Kick to the midsection and an elbow to the back of the head on HC Loke gives him the, the early advantage. And now choking him on that middle rope. 
Yeah, when you when you when you lock eyes with a guy who was in the ECW original, you gotta really elevate your game. And Ransom has been doing that so far in this match. That's right. I've seen H. Loke throw throw Raver uh, team kids off the stage in Elizabeth, New Jersey, back in the day. He's uh, he's done a whole lot of uh, despicable, dastardly things to people. And although he's a great man now, he still has that uh, that that uh, dark streak in him. And we're gonna pull out because Ransom doesn't give a crap about that resume. He's like, you're in front of me. I'm going through. That's right. Someone put uh, a price on on this match. Whoever wins gets the bigger, thicker, heavier envelope. And Ransom wants that money. Laying a solid forearm into the chest of H.C. Lowe. Now Lowe turning around, getting ready to the ropes. He goes to the clothesline, misses. Back elbow finds the mark, Ransom heads down. Yeah. He looks really fine in his groove here now. Nice rush of the leg sweep, takes the big man down. H.C. Lowe feeling it. Lowe's off the ropes. Perfectly placed leg drop. Continuing the punishment on Ransom. Says, you want to make some money off of me? I'm gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it easy on you, kid. One count. Ransom whipped to get to his feet. Now over in the corner. Ooh. HC Loke attempting to chop directly through the chest of Ransom now. Crowd asking for another. Asking that shall receive here at the Sanctuary Sun Studio. If anyone knows how to play to his crowd, it's definitely gonna be in the ECW original. The, I mean everyone gives credit to that company, but what really made it was those fans. And Lowe ascending the ropes now. Asking the crowd if they want to count along with him. Here they go! Keep up with them, Anthony! Oh, Ransom slipping out! If it wasn't for professional wrestling, I don't think these people from Halo would know how to count that. Wow! And Ransom with that neck breaker brings HC Lowe down. One count there. That's an easy one for him. Taking a turn over there, Anthony. I'm trying it out, I can understand. Regardless of that, now Ransom Wrenching the neck of H.C. Loke there. Trying to stretch the seat and tear that head off. Clean up the shoulder. Appreciate it. Loke fighting his way back to his feet. Now fighting away. Nasty hit. Misses with the clothesline. Oh! Steps it up and Ransom ready for it, comes in with a surprise clothesline to the back of the head, takes H.C. Lowe down. H.C. Lowe starting up here for the Lowe thought he had one over on Ransom, but Ransom playing 4D chess over there. And now wrenching back those arms, opening up that chest cavity, spreading those ribs apart, making it hard to breathe, difficult to take a deep breath. And ramming that knee right in between the shoulder blades. You gotta be a strong, strong guy to do that. I mean, you're, you're literally taking all of some of the entire mass and just spreading it open. You see him low, trying his best, firing up, working hard to get back to that standing base. Finally making it out, sending a few hits in. But Ransom goes right back to the midsection with that knee. Goes for the ribs now, continuing the punch on that midsection of H.C. Lope. And a forearm to the back of the neck. That'll send stars right across your eye line. Relentless in his punishment here. Looks like Ransom has chosen the body part to, to continue punishment on. Working on the shoulders, the back area, the neck. You can see he's got a game plan here. That was a close, close two count. I mean, it, I mean, Millis. Slowly bringing him back up to his feet. Ransom laying in another shot. HC Lowe barely able to stand. You can see he's struggling just to, just to keep up. 
dropping that knee right across the chest of H.C. Loke now. And Ransom with that sh with that chin lock. Yeah, he's definitely going to start trying to cut the air out of him. He definitely has the body beat up. He's, he's, got the, he's really testing that will and taking the gas tank down to empty. And if H.C. Loke wants to get back up onto his feet, he's going to have to also support the weight of Ransom, which is no easy feat, especially when you've taken the punishment that H.C. Loke has taken. Crowds are going to help him out here, too. Now fighting his way back up. Loke able to get on his feet. Oh, big backdrop by Loke. Breaks out of that hold. But how much punishment has already been done on the ECW legend? Yeah, if he, if he had anything, it's that he had to use it all to get that backdrop in because he has yet to get even into a knee. Very slow to get up the referee up to a uh, five count. Loke fighting hard knows that his students are in the back watching this with their, with their eagle eyes, and uh, he doesn't want to be the guy to fall victim to uh, to to Branson here. Because if Loke can't do it, how does he? How does it, do his boys expect to do it as well? the ropes, Loke with a big left variance, takes Ransom down, adrenaline pumping through the veins of H.C. Loke, firing up here, here comes this big comeback, hopefully, he's feeling it, oh, 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 lands him back elbow to the jaw, sends him over, with a snap there, off the ropes, big basement clothesline, goes for the cover, cut this point, one, two, Enough, but Loke has turned the tides of this match in his favor. He just needs to capitalize and keep the momentum going. Now waiting for Ransom to turn around. Scoops him up. That's a lot of man to scoop up. Absolutely. You can see in the back, the punishment of the back has affected him. Slow going. What does H.C. Loke have in mind? Ascending the ropes, perched on top there. Ransom Pro, nowhere to go. Drops the elbow. Offense by Loke finds the mark. Ripcord goes for the Rainmaker, misses it. Spine busted. Oh man, that was it. I thought it was it. I will say this, man. Even though I'm trying to ban him and left him, he's just doing it on his own. Who hasn't been dirty? He hasn't been going to the well for those dirty tactics. He's really been proving himself here as a competitor. Uh, he's staying true to his Goodbye. reputation. Now he's a tough individual. And now taking the boots out of the corner there. Especially when he's firing away. He looks like he's in trouble here. Once again, barely able to stand. That second one may, uh, may have worn off. Ref's trying to get him out of the corner. Ransom doesn't seem to want to... Oh! You gotta keep your focus. If you're gonna sit here and argue with the ref, H.C. Loke is gonna cash in on that. That's him up for the Rainmaker! Nails it! Loke hits the Rainmaker, covers him! Two, three, that's it! Walker Clan. Walker Clan, brain today has been ended to by the hands of H.C. Mother Trucking Cloak. I, I don't want, I, I can only speculate at this point, but I'm going to imagine that, uh, that Ransom's gonna be heading back to the big celebration of New York City and have to tell the Walker clan that he was not able to keep the streak going and that he was defeated by ECW original Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion H.C. Loke. I don't know how that's going to go, Anthony Blackwell. I don't know how it's going to go either, but I will say this. He's earned respect in my book. He didn't have...
have his corner. He didn't have the support of his people. He was in the back all night long, cheering on his boys, keeping them motivated. He walked out on him. And he went out there and he fought his ass off. And I believe he's going to earn some respect here by the ECW legends. Well, he may be earning the respect of AC Loaf. However, I don't think he's going to be earning any respect for the Walker Clan because, let me, let me put, it, put it, say it this way, this may have revealed a weakness in the Walker Clan strategy. Everybody else tonight won on the Walker Clan side, but now the one individual who did not have Billy Walker in his corner, the one individual who did not have the numbers game on his side, came up short. What does that mean for the Walker Clan overall? We're going to have to keep an eye on this situation. And the best way to do that, folks at home, is to be at the Sanctuary Live to see how this story plays out. That's right, come on down to the Sanctuary Studio in Eastern Pennsylvania. Get yourself in for a mere $5 and see some live stunt fighting action. I'm not sure if this happened earlier, but there's, a, there's some rumbling that this, uh, every other Sunday or some Sundays here and there is going to be changing soon. So get out that season, that season pass to be well worth it all. Man, what a show Sanctuary Mania X has been so far. Lots of surprises, incredible happening, titles being changed, ECW Original showing up. I mean, listen, we have ECW Original, we have Imp current Impact stars here today. I mean, the list is endless, and the best way to experience is being here. It's a good time to be a stunt fight fan, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we've been putting the call out saying the best way to do it is be here live, and these fans heard that call, and they are here. This place is unbelievable. I love this venue, and then when you... That just gives you a different energy. That's right, the ambiance is like no other. The Sanctuary is incredibly unique in that way. There's no other place, there's no other venue like the Sanctuary. And uh, once you come down and see how this place uh, operates and see how everything looks live, you'll definitely agree. Let's get ready for this next match. Set it down to ringside, see what we got.